Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Black Ops Search and Destroy sniping gameplay commentary. I realize it's been a while uh, since I posted a sniping gameplay. And I got that M14 gameplay up, I had the little quick MP5 K1, and, uh, and the kill trigger gameplay. So I have been without a, a proper sniping gameplay. I do have a few more M14 gameplays that I, that I have gotten recently because I just started using the gun more often. And, uh, and I've really started to, started to enjoy it. And I maintain that the M14 is a pseudo sniper rifle because it's a semi-automatic weapon and it is or is or can be classified as a sniper rifle by some military stuff, I guess. I don't know. I just really like the M14. I think it's fun. I, I have fun using it like when, when I'm performing well, uh, which is few and far in between, obviously. But when I'm performing well, you know, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it, and I'm really, really happy with it. And I, I like the M14. I think it's a bit underpowered. I think it's a... I think it's a not balanced well with the with the weapon roster in Black Ops, but I still have fun using it. And I know a lot of people say, "Oh, you got to use the FNFAL because it's, it's so much more balanced, it's so much better." I say, "No, because I like the M14. I don't know why I like the M14, but I do. I think it looks cool." But <laughs> anyway, I, I wanted to talk with you guys about. I mean, obviously, if you're playing Black Ops on line right now or, or recently you have the new title update the one i was talking about a, a few videos ago talking about the nerfing of the famas there wasn't really anything big that came with the uh with the title update it's title update 10 to treyarch i i don't see anything else uh ninja pro actually this is something interesting and i'll get to it later ninja pro no longer makes sounds when mantling or diving to prone that's something i found interesting here it's something funny a c4 can no longer be warped to a player carrying bomb and search and destroy and sabotage i have no idea what that's talking about i've never seen that but okay uh and then there's there's just a bunch of little other errors and making support for annihilation map pack i don't know what that means but that is that is really what we've seen in title update 10 now when they talk about nerfing the famas they say a Additional weapon balancing. This is from the Call of Duty website, callofduty.com slash blackops. And then you can go to their forums and, and stuff like that. But I don't... They, all they say is weapon balancing. Now, we know that David Vonderhaar said on Twitter that he was going to tweak the hipfire reticle, the raise time, um, and the... What else was he going to tweak? Hipfire reticle, the raise time, and a few other things. But they were going to be peripheral. There were going to be peripheral changes. Uh, oh, the the obviously the center speed and the recoil pattern. But they there were peripheral changes. What what wasn't going to be changed was rate of fire, damage, uh, damage range, and uh, fire time, and all these things. Not, none of that was going to be changed. Reload time, magazine size, nothing like that. And so I want to know from you, from Famas users, because I don't really use the Famas. Uh, I, I used it once in a while, and and you know. When I have the good fortune of having a class set up uh, in a very tough game, I have no problem pulling, or I, I had no problem pulling it out, but I don't have a class set up like that, and I haven't had one up for, with like that for about a couple weeks. So I want to know what you guys think. I mean, for those of you that use the FAMAS, and, uh, and I apologize if I'm idle in a few of these beginning rounds, uh, <laughs> I was texting, uh, so I kind of forgot that I was recording, and... I was gameplay status. I'm bad like that sometimes. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Uh, but I want to know what you guys think. What, what do you feel about the FAMAS nerf? Now, because in in my mind, knowing what was changed, or at least having David Vonderhaar say, this is what we're going to change and this is what we're not going to change, I'm not expecting a whole lot different from the FAMAS. I'm really not. And, and I said that in the video. I said, at worst, it's just going to be the AUG, which is the second weapon, which is the weapon behind the FAMAS in terms of overpoweredness. Now, I could go on about the G11, I think, but uh, that, that, that's a little hit or miss, and I really don't want to give that tip up because I don't want to see a lot of people now abusing the G11. But I will say this. Uh, let me know in the comments, too, what you think of the FAMAS nerf, if it's, if it's easier, harder, uh, if it's balanced now, I, I don't think it is, and I don't think it ever will be unless they change the rate of fire, the damage, the magazine size, or anything like that. 
unless they change it to better suit the weapons in its class. And yes, when I say nerf the FAMAS, I mean nerf the AUG too, because the AUG is almost exactly the same. And please don't come at me with empty reload time, because I guarantee you that the percentage of reloads uh, when not empty as opposed to empty heavily favors, heavily favors not empty, heavily. So it doesn't matter. I don't care that the AUG reloads faster when it's empty. I don't care because the FAMAS reloads faster when it's not empty and a lot more, a, a larger percentage, much larger percentage of the reloads happen when the gun is not empty in this game. I guarantee you that. But what do you think? But, but I will say this. So, so tell me what you think, but I will say this. I don't think that there's really that much of a difference, but... But, 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 it has resulted in a, lo in a f lot fewer kids trying to abuse it. And I said this on Twitter, uh, it has resulted in, in far fewer, uh, what do you, whatever you want to call them, randoms, tryhards, uh, uh, little kids trying to abuse them and they think they're scene anners or something. It has resulted in far fewer people trying to abuse the weapon. Now, the, the one thing I started talking about earlier, I started talking about um, Ninja, Ninja Pro and what happens with Ninja Pro. Now, I want to kind of think about this for a bit because Ninja Pro no longer, you no longer make any sound when you are mantling, meaning when you hit A to go over an object or climb on top of it, or when you're diving to prone, when you dolphin dive. No longer make any sound. So Ninja Pro now, in my mind, this should have been done from the beginning. It, it was just obviously one of those things. I don't know why it wasn't done. Uh, I, I could easily point the finger as that that's just another Treyarch goof. You know, th they went this long. It's like, oh, man, we have the silent perk that isn't silent. Oh. Uh, but I, I don't know why. I don't know if there's a balancing reason why. Uh, and now they're just kind of opening the floodgate, so to speak. I, I'm not sure exactly. But here's the thing, and here's what I'm worried about. And tell me if you feel the same way. Now that, now that Ninja Pro results in completely silent movement, and then we have Ghost Pro resulting in almost completely unseen movement as far as, unless, unless one has a Blackbird, completely unseen movement. That is, a, I, I'm guessing that's going to be a heavily, heavily abused system. Now, probably, what, what would the second perk be? Maybe Sleight of Hand Pro with a Silence Whatever. Not, and, I'm, and I'm not saying that Ghost Ninja hasn't been used ad nauseum. Especially with the map packs coming out, we all see that when the maps come out. But now that you have Ghost, which is almost completely silent in terms or, or unseen, and now you have Ninja Pro, which is completely silent, it makes sense to put the two together, and that is going. I think that would result in a lot of people abusing that. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. And also, before I get out of here, I want to let you guys know I want to do an open lobby. Uh, I know a lot of you, uh, you know, you got to understand your demographic. I know a lot of you are in the school, high school area, uh, of, or high school or middle school or whatever. So I'm going to do an open lobby this coming Monday. I guess that would be the 27th, the 27th of June. I want you to, uh, I'm, I'm going to have an open lobby. And, uh, and you're going to have to be following me on Twitter, twitter.com slash lefty643, twitter.com slash lefty643 to find out when the open lobby begins. But if you can't follow me on Twitter, that's fine. It should be around uh, 3 or 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So 3 or 4 p.m. Central Standard Time Monday, there will be an open lobby. Anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash lefty643. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Ten years from now, you'll see no blacks at all.